and we're really grateful that you're all here today. I am Jaime Hurtado, the Fair's president, Fair Board's president, and uh, I'm grateful to be here. And I'm your master of ceremonies today. To get this thing going, we're going to present the colors. So, can we welcome the Riverside County Sheriff Mounted Posse, please, to present the colors. We have Jacqueline Hurtado to sing the national anthem. Jackie, just keep, will you please step forward. Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er oh, the ramparts we watched. We're so gallantly streaming And the rockets red glare The bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night That our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled Just like her mother. I married up and well. How about that? Very good. Now, I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce some very important people. <clears throat> and uh, I'd like to, I'm honored to serve as, uh, as a fellow to these, uh, this fine group of individuals. And I'd like to acknowledge them. And with us today is our Vice President, Gene Scala. Gene, raise your hand. The Trinity Cowboy, Gene. The longest standing board member in this organization, that's Louis Tavagloni, Director Tavagloni. Louis? I'll tell you what, we get a lot done with Louis. We have Ron Magnuson. Ron? This program was uh, put together by our, um, our sergeant. <laughs> That's Marissa Valdez Yeager, Director Yeager. The engineer of the group, of course, Ed Atkinson, Director Atkinson. Our newest member of the board, Trisha Elmeron. And Audrey, are you here? Audrey, she's back there, you see that gal there? She's fantastic. We love Audrey. And not with us this morning is Brad Scott, right? He's taking care of the livestock, junior livestock auction. Very good. And uh, I'd like to, uh, at this time, bring forth some elected officials. The elected officials are very important to us. They're a support base, not only at the local level, but at the state level. And uh, we're really honored to have them here today. <clears throat> and I'd like to bring up uh, Senator Richard Roth to uh, say a few comments. Thank you, uh, thank you, Jaime, members of the board, uh, supervisor, Jose. Uh, it's a privilege to be here. You know, state and county fairs are the foundation of our community. 
our communities. That's what makes uh, California great. And uh, this is yet another milestone. You all, for 102 years, have been educating, you have been entertaining, and you have been making uh, inland Southern California great. And so to commemorate that, on behalf of the California State Senate, our Senate President Pro Tem, uh, Senator Kevin DeLeon, and all 40 of our California State Senators, I'd like to present a certificate, I mean, to you and to the board, uh, recognizing yet another great year and yet another milestone and a superb accomplishment for Inland Southern California. Thank you, Sam. Assemblyman Jose Medina. <clears throat> Thank you, Jaime. Great to be back again this year for another uh, opening of uh, our Southern California State Fair. 102 years. 102 years. Uh, my understanding is that it began as the Riverside County Fair at Shamawa Park. Uh, I believe that was next to Sherman Indian School 102 years ago. And uh, great entertainment for families. We're fortunate to have such great weather. Great to be back here again this year. And with that, let me uh, present this to uh, Jaime, to the uh, State Board Fair, uh, on behalf of the California Assembly and the 80 members and our speaker, Tony Atkins, to uh, California State Fair for 102 years of family entertainment. of this one, I'll tell you what. Um, Riverside County Board of Supervisors Chairman, Supervisor Marion Ashley, also my boss. And uh, a lot of the things we do here at the fair is uh, because he's, uh, he's very supportive. He's very supportive and uh, we're proud to have him here today. So come on over, boss. Thank you. Senator Roth and Assemblyman Medina and all the local officials here. It's wonderful to see the support the fair has. The fair's been at it for more than 100 years. I hate to admit, I've been to most of the fairs. <laughs> Not as many as Lowy, but I've been to a lot. Okay, And I hope that in many, many more. And it's a very important part of the uh, fabric of, of Riverside County. And through the you know, the livestock auction, supporting the, the projects for FFA and and 4-H, uh, and, uh, it's, it's very important and the children, young men and women learn learn how to, you know, to, to take care of something and be entrepreneurial and learn and really uh, how life works. And it's still a, 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 just a minor lesson in how, uh, how to succeed in life if you do one of these projects. So go over to the livestock section and see these kids, see what they're doing, attend the auction, buy something over there, support them, they really need that and uh, let's keep this going. And there's many, many other things here. We're very proud of the fair. I'm proud it's in the city of Paris where I lived for 42 years and also very proud it's in my district. And congratulations. Uh, I've had more than 100 years of great success. Thank you, Supervisor. I'd like to uh, bring up San Jacinto Councilman Alonso de Ledesma. Let me tell you, Alonso has uh, showed up to a board meeting the other day and uh, he's very excited to help us promote this wonderful fair and uh, we're really grateful for that councilman so come up and say a few words please thank you Jaime that invitation also went to the different cities I personally invite city of uh, him and my college and city of San uh, Hammett uh, I just like to thank this wonderful group of directors, thanks for the president and inviting me. I, I am excited. This is all not for them. I just wanted to let you know that these people are dedicating time for you, the community. And the community is all of us, the whole Hemet, San Jacinto, Paris, Riverside, Moreno Valley. And I'm excited to see this event going. Thank you for putting up time for, with our, your families to be out here. Uh, people don't know that 
elected officials, we spend a lot of time, and you are an elected official. And you spend t t time away from your families. Thank you very much for the invitation. I'm excited to uh, see this event going. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman. I'd like to bring up our, our nearby uh, neighbor, uh, Councilman Gaiba, Jeffrey Gaiba. Would you come up and say a few words from the city of Moreno Valley? This is very exciting. We are the southerly neighbors to Paris and probably the most uh, people that will be coming here are also from Moreno Valley and, and I come from a small town in, in the high desert where the Antelope Valley Fair was every year and I've lived in this area for 33 years and I'm looking forward to Jeremy Camp. So uh, I am excited and uh, all of you should be having a wonderful time and thank you. Thank you Paris for having a location close to home. Thank you. A very important constituency to this fair is the, uh, the future that lies ahead of us. The future lies in a lot of the students that come through this fair in the thousands. So we provide educational tours to these students on a yearly basis. Staff accommodates them, they get to see the fair and a lot of the work that's been done here. And I'd like to bring up Tom Hunt who's representing the educational community. He's a uh, Riverside Unified School District uh, trustee and Tom, would you come up and say a few words, please? Uh, thank you, and thank you, Jaime, for inviting me. Um, I can tell you about one one uh, young student. Uh, he was eight years old. He just moved here. That was me. My dad was transferred from March Air Force Base. Where did we move to? What kind of place was this? And we went out to the Hemet Fairgrounds for this this fair, and it was there that we really begin to see what it was like to be an Inland Empire resident. The, the, the grit of, of our forefathers here, the farmers who farmed potatoes out in this dry land, the ranchers, and those kind of people showed us what kind of, kind of folks we needed to be to, to represent the Inland Empire. And I think it's the kind of representatives we have in Sacramento with Richard and, and with Jose. It, we don't have the beach, we don't have all the mountains, we don't have the big cities. But we have the grit and the understanding which is displayed at, at this fair of what our, our uh, foundings were, where our roots are, the Inland Empire. And it's such a wonderful thing to celebrate and to grow on. And I look forward that education can be a part of that as we go forward. And thank you for having me today. I'd like to take this opportunity. Judy, would you come up, please? I didn't forget you. Come here, please and introduce your wonderful team. Judy Hoffman Wade, she does so much for the farmer's daughters on a yearly basis, inspires them, teaches them leadership skills, and I'll tell you, she's here day in, day out, and we're really proud of Judy. So would you be kind enough to introduce your beautiful team? Hopefully most of you are familiar with the Farmer's Daughter Scholarship Program. It's been going on since, well, we thought 1947. We found, lo and behold, in 1945. We have some new pictures out there. Uh, we have five final Farmer's Daughters. Three of them are here today. Would you ladies come forward, please? Two of them are taking their SATs, so we had to excuse them. I think it's very important that they take their SATs. The girls are going to introduce themselves, and then... We are going to give them their new sashes. We had seven girls for the entire summer and they did, I think, probably 17, 18 different activities going all over speaking to different uh, organizations and just publicizing the fair. So the five will be representing the Farmer's Star Scholarship during the whole entire fair. They'll be doing a lot of different contests. Please don't miss it. Come out and see them. As soon as they've introduced themselves, then Cindy, Lindell, would you like to present the sashes? Ladies, you introduce yourselves, and then I'm going to introduce these two ladies right here. My name's Bre My name is Breezy Foraker. I'm from Harupa Valley, California. Hi guys, my name is Ivy Sun. I'm 19 years old, and I'm from Riverside. Hello, my name is Madison Olson. I'm from Riverside and I'm 17 years old. Now we are going to present the ladies with their new, brand new sashes, compliments of wonderful Linda Thompson. All of you, a lot of you know her. She's been on the board for a long, long time. They're going to be presented by Lyndall, by Cindy, and which one of you two is going to take over? By the way, Sharon, raise your hand, please. This is Sharon Emerson Lemons. 
she, her father, Clint Emerson, was on the board back in Hemet and back here. A lot of you know him, wonderful guy. That is not her only claim to fame. She is now here helping with the Farmer's Daughters. And Barbara, raise your hand, please. Barbara tries. She has been anti-farmer for a long, long time, a volunteer uh, project. And her husband is Bob Pitchfork Pete. He's hiding somewhere. Oh, there he is. Come on out, Pitchfork. Her daughter was a Crown Farmer's daughter in what year, Barbara? 2009. 2009. So they are going to be presenting the girls with their new sashes. So let's have, let's see, Madison, would you step forward first? Who has Madison's? It's, it's kind of an IQ test, and most of us can't figure it out. So we're just going to, it's going to be a sash right now. Or a shawl, perhaps. That's lovely. All right, Ivy, would you step forward? <laughs> Who's got Ivy's? Okay, Lindo, you have Ivy's. Okay. This is lovely. Oh, wait, we got the wrong one. Where is Ivy's? We'll put Ivy. Okay, we'll put it. She'll put it on for now. We assume different identities depending upon what city we're in. <laughs> okay, Breezy, would you step forward? Breezy actually has one that has her name on it. All right, please do come out uh, and watch the different contests. We have contests every single day up to Friday and the crowning, and you're all gonna be there for the auction on Saturday, buying a whole lot of uh, animals. And the crowning will be at 11 o'clock, so we'll see which one of the five is gonna receive the scholarship. Thank you all so much. Enjoy the fair. Ready? Three, two, one. Thank you, to you all. You know, Brad Scott, raise your hand. He's also part of the board. Thank you, Brad. He does a lot of great work with the Junior Live Auction. Thank you for being here. Also, a lot. This fair counts on support, ex external support, and a lot of this activity and resources we wouldn't be able to do without our sponsors. So we're grateful for the sponsors, and I just like to uh, give them a call out. And uh, the Press Enterprise that provides great coverage. Thank you, Press Enterprise. Yeah. The Paris Auto Speedway. Some of the well-noted uh, celebrities that come through uh, to us is uh, provided by K-Frog. K-Frog, thank you. This butt's for you, Budweiser. Thank you. RDO Equipment. City of Paris. Hellman Sons Amusements. Ayers Hotels. El Toro Sports Arena. Rowdy Rose, the RowdyRose.com group. Bruno Farms. Summit Equipment Rentals. Lake Paris Sports Pavilion. 39 special events. Highway 39 special events. Moon Valley Nurseries. A lot of the great food and the hot dogs you're gonna taste in there from Family Affair. Yeah. Al Kubota Tractors Incorporated. Diamond Environmental Services and Inland Carpet and Tile Cleaning. Give, every, give these people a round of applause, please. Thank you, sponsors. You know, I'd like to thank uh, Cindy and Lindell. You know, you, you're, you're, you're a great team. And, uh, you know, they do a lot of things year-round, and we want to thank you for that. Okay? And your wonderful staff. All right? So, uh, one...